going on today? What are we doing? Well, we're back at the farm, you know. Isn't that nice? Welcome back everyone to another Tide Wee episode. Today, we had to go buy some shells because we ran out last time. We haven't filmed a pigeon hunting video for you guys in quite some time, but that's what we're doing today. Back out on the farm that you guys have seen us hunt at twice now, I believe, on this channel. Now, there's still a ton of pigeon around. Look at them. They're flying around. You can see them up on the barn roof over there. It is gorgeous out today. Absolutely gorgeous. It's warmer than it was last time we went out here and did this. And we're gonna try and do another shoot and cook for you guys. So the pigeon that we shoot today, we're actually gonna cook up and prepare. Stick with us, stay tuned. Hopefully we get some pigeon on the ground. Actually, I know we're gonna get some pigeon on the ground. And then also stay tuned for that catch and cook at the end here that we're gonna do as well. So if you are new to this channel, definitely go down and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of sweet new products coming out this fall into this winter that you guys don't wanna miss out on. We're gonna go post up, get set up somewhere, volley birds back and forth and see how many we can get on the ground today. Let's go shoot some birds. One sweet two, they're all gonna fly. Yep, this one just got up. Why did you miss? I that was a that was a perfect shot too. I cannot believe I missed that. Those guys are up there. We gotta figure out a good spot to fucking huddle up, you know? Kinda where we were last time, I like that. I got her! Got her! Got her! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah. That is a beautiful pigeon. No band. <laughs> That's cool. That's the prettiest bird we've got here. Well, first one down. Beautiful white pigeon there. God, gorgeous bird, dude. Clipped her wing pretty good. All right. Let's get a couple more now. Oh, there they go. Ha <laughs> ha! Up on the roof. Nice. Stoned it. That's a big bird. Another good one. We'll add that to the pile over here. One of them is stuck on the roof over there. You got him. What is he doing? Are you kidding? <laughs> I saw that. Oh, he just, he's gonna die up there now. Him to the collection. We got one stuck on the roof. Well, we actually, we got two stuck on the roof now. We got that one stuck up there. And then Max shot one over there that's also now stuck on the roof. We're gonna go ahead and try and retrieve those later once we uh, get a ladder, but until then, we're just gonna keep shooting birds here. How many we got? Six, but we got three on the roof. <laughs> three on the roof. <laughs> yep, we got a couple in the bed of the truck here, and then Max is putting them on the roof today, so we're gonna end up getting a ladder at the end here and going to pick all those up, but having fun so far. Haven't wasted too many shots yet, so haven't missed too many times but there's still a ton of pigeon flying around. So we're gonna go pop some more here, but we definitely got enough to do the catch and cook so far, so. Nice. Got that one. Yeah, he was, he was moving too. You got one? Brown one. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Here's one. Damn it. Damn, I missed. Missed, missed. Got that one. Yep. Another good one. Woo! 
Whew, those things were cruising. There it is. Found it. Found the one I got earlier. We'll set him next to the other one. There. I kept looking down. That's why I was missing some of these birds. I was more concentrated on trying to find the one that I shot earlier, but we got him. Oh, I shot over him. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's all it took. He was up there. <laughs> he was up there. 9, 10, 11. It's a good shoot. For not having any decoys or anything, yeah. 11 birds shoot. 11 birds down. I'll take that. Mark. Just gotta go get the ones that are on the roof yet. Well, we were gonna call that a shoot. We've been uh, probably shooting for about two hours now. We got, what did I say? We got 11 pigeon down. We just gotta gather the ones that we've put on the roof. Once we collect those, we'll have 11 down on the tailgate so good shoot for a couple hours here obviously it was pretty windy today so the birds are moving around quite a bit staying up pretty high started i would say becoming a little educated of us walking around too so next time we're going to have the decoys and everything mojo's with us again and hopefully put a little more on the ground it'll possibly be a little cooler outside too next time we're out here but there's definitely a lot of pigeon left so we'll be back but we gotta run home clean these birds up and get cooking stay tuned for that let's go home a few moments later well we are back at the homestead here and uh we got applesauce but that's not what you guys came here to see we got the pigeon all cleaned up we cut it into nice chunks max is just kind of washing them off right now put them in some milk why are we doing that we gotta bread them Let we're gonna bread them milk. yes you guys heard that correct we are gonna bread these pieces of pigeon uh, we're actually gonna deep fry them like you would with a chicken wing. And once we get these things breaded, we're gonna toss them into the deep fryer, deep fry them, and then toss them in barbecue sauce once they are finished cooking. So we're basically making pigeon, bar barbecued pigeon breasts. That makes sense. But they're gonna be like barbecued chicken wings. So we're gonna try this. I've never had them like this. Max, have you, have you ever had them like this? He's had them like this one time, a long time ago. So. I mean, it should be good. It's not chicken, obviously, it's a little different, but I uh, I don't really know why it wouldn't be good. So that's what we're doing today. If you guys have done this before, leave us a comment down below. Let us know how it tasted for you guys. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna kind of film all of this stuff here, and then we're gonna dump these things in the deep fryer and get them cooking. In case you guys are wondering, yep, we're using Shore Lunch today. I've never had the Chicken Classic Fry by Shore Lunch. Hopefully it's good, but that's what we're using. Instead of using a deep fryer, I decided to just get one of these tin pans from the store, um, put it right on top of my Blackstone, filled it with oil, and honestly, works like a charm for a deep fryer and it's a lot easier to clean up too as well. Uh, you can just funnel it right back into the bottle, whatever you want to do with it, and then just toss the tin out. Uh, you don't have to worry about cleaning bowls or anything like that. Super simple to do it this way. So here's a little tip for you guys. If you're ever gonna deep fry fish, um, chicken, whatever it may be, great way to try deep frying some stuff. So give that a shot if you have a Blackstone. So that's what they'll look like once they're deep fried. Just pulling them out of here. It's looking good. We're gonna continue to cook the rest of these. We got another little plate full here. We're gonna get them all deep fried and then we're gonna toss them in some barbecue sauce. And then we'll come back to you guys again here and see how they taste. All right, well, we are back inside. We got some uh, barbecue sauce in a bowl here. This is legendary honey barbecue. Legend Larry. This is Legend Larry's. This is some good stuff. We got our deep fried pigeon right here. We still got some cooking out there, but we're gonna go ahead and toss a few of these, so. See how it is? Hopefully I don't get a BB. Yeah, too slow. <laughs> Money? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Tastes like a chicken wing. 
No. Not really. Way different. Tastes like duck. Really? Yeah. It's got like a duck flavor. <laughs> no. No. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. You're right. It does have a duck flavor, like aftertaste. Like right away you get the barbecue sauce, and then it kind of switches to that that pigeon flavor, that gamey, a little bit of gamey taste, but it's not bad. But this is definitely different. It's good. It's not bad. But uh, let's give the honey barbecue a taste once and see how that goes. All right, we got a couple of the sweet baby rays ready to go. Go ahead, toss one of them back, see how that is. I have a feeling this one's gonna be better just because it's a thicker sauce. That is a lot better. It's a lot better? Mm -hmm. I, I could I could have probably said that sweet baby rays is gonna be better, but let's give this a go. 100%, mm -hmm. 100% better. That's the ticket. Sweet baby rays is definitely the way to go if you're gonna be doing pigeon. I now like this 100% better. I'd probably say, I'd probably say almost 10 out of 10 for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that so, tastes more like a chicken nugget. Yeah, or a boneless wing. We definitely should have put more into the sweet baby rays. Yeah, we just left but yeah, we got a couple more yet to put in there. But overall, it was good. Um, like I said, have never had pigeon this way. First time ever doing it like this. So if you've done it like this before, let us know in the comments below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely go down, hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this um, as we go through winter and this hunting season. Um, we got a lot more stuff to try and a lot more fun things to post here on this channel. So that being said, as always, keep living your passion and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.